Uh, I believe he only lost to. Actually, I can check on that right Both now. Both of these guys I actually kind of fell out a little early on. on. So, yeah, they made their run through well, losers bracket for at, sure. At the very least, Alex outplaced his seeding because he did not get seated to make here. He did uh, lose to Wadi. So his only loss oh, okay. so far in this bracket is to another PGR member. Can he take it against the second PGR member? Let's see. Sonic, not a character that people really are uh, too fond of in this game. They yeah. say he sucks. His conversions, some of them don't work. Namely, the up air is a tool that kind of just like, it, it doesn't work short. properly. It yeah. really doesn't work properly. But so far, he's got a, a solid percent lead against uh, Puppet here. Yeah, again, definitely someone who is representing uh, the meta in Smash 4 for sure. Um, okay, and the call out with oh. the angled F smash there. Let's really go. nice stuff. Beautiful stock. Actually only taking 20% at the time there. Nice yeah. stuff coming up um, from Alex Disc. Tijuana about to have two members on the PGR this next <laughs> season. That's, that's what it's looking like anyway. But that was just the first stock. 40% on Alex Disc right here. And he's already got a lead on Pepe. Pepe with the Ivysaur right now. Trying to pace, space out these backers. Finding the forward air nice into the extension. Vine Whip. Yeah, really nice proper extension at, uh, with the Vine Whip there. Calling out the jump. Going to see the switch from Charizard a little early. Kind of surprising to see him out around these uh, low percentages here, around 30%. Usually we'll see Squirtle or Opfer just maintain a stay Ivysaur. So I don't know. Maybe he just definitely wants that kill power right now. Recognizing he is at 109% here. Looking for the up smash out of shield. Ooh. Not going to get it. Nice pressure with the fair here. A little right. early uh, on that down air there at All the right. ledge. Up throw, I'm not going to be sure. He went for an extra pummel, and Alex managing to break out of the grab. I don't think the up throw would have been enough to kill yet. I may be mistaken, but I, I figure that Puppe would have gone for the immediate up throw had it been the case that the kill was online. Yeah, no, for sure. But he is suffering a bit. He finally finds that up smash on the platform, but he's at 103% now. In there's the Ooh, F smash the again, again. Taking it, Alex, up a stock still. <laughs> I like your energy right Ooh. now. It's so like, woo, <laughs> energetic. Um, but yeah, definitely solidifying both of the stocks with the F smash there. Beautiful stuff again. And here are the up air. Okay, we just saw two up airs yes. here into a back air again. Back air follows up into so many yeah. things. Looking for it oh, again here. No. Gonna see right. down throw, not missing the vine whip connection. Again, applying so much pressure with Razor Leaf. Definitely one of the better yeah. projectiles in the game. Sure, and Puppet making a really good, uh, getting really good mileage out of this stock. Definitely making his way back into this game slowly, but surely only at 18%. Already putting Alex at 128. Can he get the edge guard? He's gonna ledge trap. Nice. Okay, gets the neutral air, calling out the jump. Definitely There's like the four air, you're gonna take the stock. Yeah, beautiful Nair at the ledge, calling out the jump there and then getting that extension with the Vine Whip there. Nice stuff. Woo. Again, gonna see these uh, up air juggles here in oh. the beginning. Man, the amount of damage that Ivysaur can put out already bringing himself yeah. into the lead here, Alex. Yeah, actually starting to have to slow down this. his gameplay, man. Not something that uh, you really hear when talking about Sonic, right? Yeah. You gotta go fast. Exactly. And especially Ivy Sword not even being one of like the quicker characters, but still can kind of keep up because of the range that he has and the projectiles that he can use in this matchup. Oh. And there we go, actually closing out the stock 90% with the up air again, just being one of the bigger tools that he's utilizing in this matchup, and it's working out for him. Puppe. Puppe looks like he's uh, a wow. little really relieved, actually, that he won that game because he looked. I know. <laughs> no, he's exasperated. He's like, oh, man, there's I thought tension. I was going to lose, but, you know, up air, MVP. No, definitely big, uh, bringing big that back. Box. I mean, that's also another thing, too. Alex has to recognize, you know, where did I go wrong there? Going to have to have that counter adaption at this point in time in, in the sets here because, honestly, it, it, it kind of tilts you a little bit when you're up and then your opponent somehow oh, totally. brings it back and totally. takes the game. Totally. So that's like kind of like a whole flip that you just have to switch in your mind and tell yourself, okay, what do I need to change? What do I need to do differently? What can I do from here on out? So um, absolutely, really would like to see the adaptation coming out from Alex this so we can see a possible Game three here, and um, let's see if we can uh, see it for sure. Yeah, Going back to Pokemon Stadium. This is Pokemon Stadium for game number two. Uh, no change in scenery here. Again, the players at this caliber are just, uh, it comes down to who's the better player. Yeah. And sometimes matchup. Sometimes the matchup has a lot to do with it. And Pope off to a much better start this time around. So far, he's still got his stock intact, and he's got a really solid percent lead as well. 92% on Alex. Up air, Again. not going to be enough, <laughs> but the Vine Whip will do it. And he's only at 13%, ladies and gentlemen. Aristel, this is a complete yeah. turnaround for Puppet right here. Yeah. He's definitely showing his 
PGR level of adaptation. It's a whole new game, man. That's yeah. basically what it is. And honestly, again, I feel like every stock that we've been seeing, Puppe closing, what are we missing on the other stream? Holy man, I the crowd, know. guys. This is huge venue. Everything's popping off right now. But honestly, yeah, Puppe's definitely been getting a lot of his stock kills with, uh, you know, the up B there or uh, the uppers as we're seeing. Oh, so Shulk, Shulk mains are popping off for Kome. That's what's happening. Oh, man. Okay, okay <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, game number two right here. Puppe with the complete turnaround, sub 100%. Oh, oh, is he gone? Nope, he's gonna switch to Charizard, able to use a double jump and get back to the stage. And he's gonna be able to survive a little bit longer as well, being a much heavy, heavier character. Ooh. Nice, brilliant down smash to cover that roll. Yeah, really nice uh, rolling co coverage option there. And again, the up smash out of shield. Oh, Beautiful uh, edge guard with the fair as this well. This is not looking good for Alex right here. Down three stocks to Puppe. Down three stocks against Puppe here. Yeah, no, for sure. And this is looking way different from the first game. I was expecting to see a little more counter adaption coming out from Alex, but instead we're just seeing Puppe kind of figuring out his uh, opponent here and kind of sure. reading all of his options, calling out of a lot of great moves here. Um, and again, oh. with the setup with the flood, oh, I thought okay. we might see the switch with Ivysaur. Here we go. All right, catching the jump in with the neutral air. Kind of sending him the wrong way, though. I feel like he that wanted to go off yep, stage, man. Way. Three stock, three stock for Puppe here in game number two. What an answer back after how close that first game is, was. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a complete turnaround. However, this is best of five territory now. We are in top 32 of the bracket. And uh, Puppy's still got to find two more victories before he can Man. carry on his legacy. By the, the bracket. looks of that game, though, I mean, I would be in a very hey, tricky hey. situation right I wouldn't, now. I wouldn't, count, I wouldn't count my man Alex out, Oh, right? I'm not calling. I, I, I ain't, but I'm just saying, if Puppy, like, if Puppy can adapt, he's going to put in work. He has so to put can, in work. So can Alex. So yeah, can Alex. 100%. I mean, that's, that's what's mostly smashes too definitely yeah. uh you know adapting to your opponent and it's not always just a matchup thing you know what i'm saying that's so that's the whole uh, game right there for sure i don't know man it's just gonna be really hard that's what i'm saying it's hard to be down 2-0 in this situation and again this is um losers here so whoever wins this set here is gonna continue on losers round here and and will uh fight mars actually so that's gonna be an um, interesting set to see yeah. for sure who took out mars man i want to see that We'll find okay, out then. shortly, but in the meantime, top 32, we got, uh, that's actually a 1-1 one, one set right now. I know the, the soul, uh, set count says 2-0, uh, two two but uh, Alex won that first game. Oh no, he didn't, it was 2-0. No, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was really was close, but he close, brought it yeah. back, yeah. No, definitely, um, and okay. Alex, I like. made, I, Alex made me believe that he had that <laughs> game. He won it in my heart. But. Yo, for real. And honestly, I do like that we're seeing a stage uh, counter stage pick here. Two Kalos. I think this is definitely a uh, better stage this is, uh, for Sonic. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see that this is one of Sonic's better stages. Yeah. He is going to lose that first stock to a forward smash into ledge. Nonetheless, but this stage being so wide and Sonic being the fastest character in the game, he's going to be able to play hit and run really well on this stage. Yeah, of course. Ooh, Again, the, okay. the call with the s Yeah, I love it. A little bit, little bit of patience coming yeah. out from Alex here. Definitely, uh, you know, showing him I can do some stuff too, oh, man. I'm bringing the, bringing no, the heat for sure. Dude. But again, no, the double uppers dude. that we're seeing that are solidifying those stocks, the beginning early stocks that matter and are so crucial. Alex. And now we're seeing the same situation. Three to one stock here looking rough still. Really, really bad for Alex right now. He's definitely falling apart. Puppe with only 100% on his first stock. Two up airs off of that grab. So much damage from Puppy right now, and he's got a magnificent lead against Alex. Yeah. Grab sure. right here. Just gonna grab. Go for the back throw, throw him off stage. Wanting that Vine Whip up be there. A little scary. Oh, and okay, that should be the stock. Yep, play with. Charge up the okay. forward smash. He, 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 he could go for it, though. He could go for oh, it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you're up this by this much, it's definitely an option that you want. You actually kind of want to go for, right? Yeah. Ch check your opponent, Mike. Are you ready? Are you ready to react? Flare Blitz is scary, man. Oh, Definitely and there is. it is. Going to do it for sure, though. That's going to be game number three. Puppe with the 3-0, showing his PGR prowess. Yeah, a quick 3-0 for sure. Kind of a, showing a little bit of dominance, there, dominance for sure. Yeah. Um, just seeming really comfortable and... Great performance yeah, from both players and definitely, you know, that's such a feat to like go out to these events and make top 32 in general. Uh, it's so much work, takes so much time. We have so many players here. It's a stacked event. Yeah. And honestly, um, 
Yeah, no, I actually really enjoyed that set. And it just looked hard. Like, again, being a Sonic main in Smash Ultimate isn't easy. It really isn't. No, definitely not. And with that, Alex is going to go out at a very, very respectable 25th place, right? After being yeah. seated to go 1-2, I would say that's that's not too shabby. I'm sure you'll get your proper seating next, mm -hmm. next time. Yeah, um, no, I mean, a 25th, hey, out of how many entrants did we have? We had, I think yeah, we had like... Almost 500. I think yeah. it was like 400 and change. That's amazing. Yeah. But uh, it looks like our next match. Uh, Got Exax coming up Exacts. next okay. here, Exacts and we're going to have uh, Valor. Valor. Valor being the number two or three from from Utah. He's a Utah Sonic main, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Exacts another Sonic? Inkling from, from SoCal. Yeah, we're yeah, going to see okay. another Sonic. If, I, Interesting. if I'm not wrong, I'm, but sometimes you know I'm wrong. So. Sonic main's <laughs> also coming out to Switch Fest. Oh, my gosh. Um, but yeah, definitely Exax no, is an Inkling game, main. Yeah. Um, for sure, definitely seen a lot of our uh, local events and stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, XX has been in the scene for a really long time. You know, a lot of people are pretty familiar yeah. with him and, and uh, you know, him himself. And honestly, I, I just, I'm probably going to have to bring up uh, the bracket here. I'm curious to see who all of these, um, who all, like, so who are they all lost to Valor here? lost to Charlie the King. Oh, okay. Uh, in the pools. And XX, I'll tell you right now. Exax ended up losing to no one other than Mars. Okay. So, well, you know, who took wait? Who took out Mars though? That's what we need to see. Number three player in the world. That's well, we Mars is still in the winners bracket. Yeah. Oh no no no! Well, is Mars in the losers? Mars oh, is, is in losers. That's a good yeah, question. that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Mars that. plays we puppy. We can find out at shortly. That's uh, definitely a good question. But this is going to be an interesting matchup for sure. Yeah. Oh, and on Sonic the other stream, English. too, actually, really nice stuff. Wadi Mass tomorrow. That's going to be another interesting match. I oh, yeah. Definitely wish we could be over there, too, they, and you know, commentate over there as well. They played a couple of times before, too. I think, uh, yeah. I think Master Mario might have beat him once at an MSM, but then the very next time around, that it was just during that time that Wadi yeah. was here for like a couple a couple of weeks. I think the 